Today, Governor Newsom announced a new partnership with local restaurants to prepare and deliver meals to seniors. This partnership will allow for the ability uh, for restaurants to uh, start rehiring people or keep people currently employed and start preparing uh, meals, three meals a day, seven days a week, uh, and have those meals delivered to our seniors all throughout the state of California. Businesses will be reimbursed through FEMA and the state at a cost of about $66 a day per three meals. Seniors must be at high risk for COVID-19 exposure, living below the federal poverty level, impacted or exposed to the virus, or have a compromised immune system. We're also getting a look at the assistance FEMA is providing in terms of PPE and other critical medical supplies. More than 1.2 million N95 masks, 7.5 million surgical masks, 4.5 million gowns, and 207 million gloves have been delivered. The federal government says FEMA has also provided the state with more than $1 billion in funding. And joining us now to talk more about all of this is former FEMA presidential appointee Mark Naveau. Mark, thanks for joining us. Let's start first with this new uh, program announced by Governor Newsom today for helping seniors in need and delivering them meals. It seems very significant and a win-win here. Yeah, absolutely. Good evening. What's wonderful about reporting on this type of story, it's a win-win all the way around. This program is gonna be the first in, an, in the nation. It's, FEMA has not done this before. They're in the meal business in terms of pouches to disaster survivors. But as you said earlier, Christina, when we were talking, FEMA typically doesn't get involved in gourmet meals. This program was hatched by a partnership from the FEMA Regional Administrator on the West Coast that used to work out of Washington, D.C. under the Obama administration at FEMA headquarters. He's partnered up with the governor to provide funding so that they can provide gourmet, if you will, restaurant meals across the state to the lower um, socioeconomic seniors that are usually homebound and more so because they can't get out in their vans, which they typically do, to the community centers to get meals. They live by themselves. So what this will do will provide meals to about 1.2, 1.3 million seniors across the state. It will also provide an economic stimulus to the local communities, the restaurants, the delivery people. It's a win-win all the way around. Yeah, you're right, because when I think FEMA, I think of emergency declarations and disasters. I don't think meals for seniors. And really, it's important because we have 1.2 million seniors who are living alone. Yeah, absolutely. And you hear um, within the last couple of years, it really started under uh, Craig Fugate, who used to run FEMA, and they call it whole of community response. FEMA used to be somewhat isolated, focused in certain areas. And now what the encouragement is, is to try and bring other federal departments involved and try and meet the needs of the community, not just sterile in terms of water, meals, cots, trucks, and things like that, but to take a look at the community figure out what it is they need to be able to minimize their suffering and recover economically, bring that community back to its state before. This is one of those programs that's innovative and without a doubt, you're gonna see this spread across the nation. How do you think California was able to be the first in the nation to do something like this? Yeah, that goes back to the partnership between Bob Fenton and Governor Newsom and that's been beneficial for Californians throughout. Twofold is that Mr. Fenton, when he came here, he understood how Washington, D.C. FEMA headquarters works. That's one. But they've had a relationship between the two of them, as well as the Cal OES Office of Emergency Service Director, Mark Garaducci. They've worked on a number of wildfires and a number of issues. So they've got a partnership between their staffs. They're innovative, they're compassionate, and they're doing a great job. And I want to move now to the personal protective equipment that California has received from FEMA. It seems very significant here as well. Millions of masks, gowns, and gloves. Do you think that we got our fair share, though? Oh, without a doubt. In the statistics that you were talking about, for instance, just go through 1.2 million masks. There's about 70 million that have been delivered throughout the country. 7.5 million surgical masks, 97 million across the country. 4.5 million uh, gowns for California, 
14 million throughout the country so as you can see definitely california had a need but they were also getting resources now if you're talking to some of the folks in the senior facility homes or in some of the emergency departments that don't have that stuff i'm sure they don't feel that way but there were about 74 flights that have come from china so far bringing the ppe to uh, not only california but across the nation as well as the billion dollar plan that the governor's put in place to continue the flow of that ppe in case we get a second wave and to take care of those folks in the hospitals and the senior facilities today and do you anticipate that the distribution will be fairly easy it's a challenge there's no question because of the communication lines from the local level say a senior nursing facility in a small um, maybe rural community it's a communication and it's the ability to move that information uh, those products back and forth fema and, and washington dc is acting as a coordination center for that i'm sure they're doing the best they can but you know with something as large as this it's the first time in history we've had 50 states on a uh, disaster declaration so i know there are people that aren't getting what they need sure all right mark Nouveau, we're going to leave it at that thank you so much for joining us as always we appreciate your time you're welcome christina have a good night